Figure skating has demanded my entire life. There was a lot of points where I felt I could have just quit skating. I'm from a small mining community called Red Lake, and it's in northwestern Ontario. Red Lake was a hockey town, and I was the only male figure skater. There was just a couple thousand people in my town. I grew up next door to the arena. I had an obsession with figure skating. I would watch every single skating competition on TV, and we would record everything, and I would just re-watch everything every day. I saw figure skating on TV and watching it reminded me of flying. That's what initially drew me to the sport. I got bullied a lot. You know, a lot of the other kids made fun of me. They called it a girl sport. I missed my high school graduation. I missed my prom. But I didn't care what they said or what they thought. And I think that that perseverance is what got me through those difficult times. In any high-level athlete's life, there comes a time when their body isn't working for them the way that they want it to. At the World Championships last year, Eric suffered quite a serious injury. Eric didn't know what was going on with his body, except for the fact that he could not perform the jumps and the spins that he needed to. He didn't have the strength, and it's almost like his hip and leg was disconnected from the rest of his body. We've managed to take those difficult days and always kept them in a positive light. It feels so heavy and so tiresome to just be judged all the time. There will always be those critics that will be there to diminish what you've accomplished. You go home feeling discouraged and frustrated and worried, and it's a lot of work to just accept those days as they come and reassess how to pick yourself up and how to rebuild the blocks to success. We have seven minutes of skating, and that will define so many different aspects of our life. You have these amazing highs that are followed by absolutely devastating lows. If you're not able to find joy and happiness in the hours and hours and hours that we put in leading up to those important moments, then those few minutes, even if they are very successful, aren't going to be worth it.